infinite complacence, people went to and fro of the earth about their little affairs, serene in the assurance of their dominion over this small, binning fragment of solar driftwood, which by chance or design, man has inherited out of the dark mystery of time and space. Gareth, if you would, just let everybody know where I am chatting with you, where you are right now, and uh, why you got in contact with me, and just, you know, set everybody up where you think they should start. Okay, uh, well, well, I'm in, I'm in London, UK, obviously, uh, with the British accent, so yeah, it's, uh, that's, that's where I am. Yeah, and, uh, but, but this, this didn't happen until, this didn't happen until I moved kind of backwards and forwards uh in the uh, midlands kind of birmingham area sort of way in uh, the uk i think it's because now i'm now i'm divorced i can now now tell my story really uh it wasn't amicable uh so you know it's it's one of those things that, that goes through life you know but yeah it, it's a kind of warning really and i guess if you if you if you kind of see stuff that's going wrong that you can't put your finger on then it's like get help really get help because something you can have that's amazing be destroyed by something that you have no control over Mm -hmm. you know it's it's that's i mean you know it's as you know as you're you're hearing this in the story it, it you know it wasn't just things that happened that kind of forced forced the kind of like the issue with my marriage it was just other things that kind of yeah, there's there's something more here than just kind of like two people going separate ways sort of thing, you know. Mm-hmm. So yeah, it's it's you know if if you get it and then or if you sense or you feel it, you know it, just just get help from anywhere, you know. <laughs> well, not anywhere, obviously, but uh, you know, try and find someone who knows what what what's going on, you know, because it is destructive ultimately, you know, which is which is quite a scary thing, really, when you think about. You know, and you get you kind of think about well, <clears throat> this. This can't be happening, but then yeah, it is. It is happening, and you and you know it's happening, but it's tr- it's hard to try and get people to believe what's happening unless they're in that situation. You know, so yeah, <laughs> that's 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 the reason why I kind of. And I think I think it's just like I'm I'm ready to tell it. You know, I think I'm, I'm ready to tell a story. And I know you're not going to share any names, and that's totally fine. But can you let us know, you know, how long you guys were married, how your relationship was, however much you want to go in with that before, yeah, you know, we, the whole yeah. mirror thing began? Yeah. Well, yeah. Okay. So, uh, yeah, we, we met up. We were all school friends, and then we met up, and then it kind of just like, one thing led to another. And it was like, fine, cool, excellent. And uh, it was a kind of strange thing because I I'd, I'd – uh, booked a road trip around America before we met up and uh, did that and came back and I thought, yeah, you know, yeah, time's right. You know? And this wasn't too long ago. This was only like 2016 as well. So, you know? Yeah, we just kind of, you know, got together and uh, it was, it was, it was perfect. It was fine. You know, if, if, you know, as it would be. And if that's the weird thing as well, because you don't notice those things. Now it's, it's oh, well, when I first showed up, you know, it's like, I guess I had a sense that something, I, you know, because I've had I've had weird stuff happen to me before and in, in, before in different houses and stuff like that, and you kind of get a sense of when something's not right. But because I think it was like kind of wrapped up in happiness and stuff like that, then it was kind of uh, hidden and didn't see it. But then after a while, it, there was I got that kind of like tingly feeling, I guess, and it's like I don't know how, how the only best way I can describe it when I felt it before going into environments is it's like. You're listening to, you know, when someone's got uh, headphones on on the tube, or the tri- sorry, the metro or whatever, <laughs> right? Uh, uh, and it's just an annoying sound. 
and it's just and it's not just the sound or the music it's like a frequency mm-hmm. that just jar, that jars you you know uh that's that's the only way i can describe it yeah that's so i think it was pro- so sorry garrett so just to be clear you're talking about your you know you're starting to date this person and you're going to her house and having this feeling i'm not clear about what uh like yeah, where we're yeah, talking yeah, about. yeah i was going to her house you know because i lived in london she lived up in the in the midlands uh so i was back and forth back and forth yeah and uh it's working working out fine but then when things became became a bit more settled between us that's when i started to kind of like think hang on no there's something wrong here uh and i couldn't put my finger on it because uh, it, it was a kind of feeling that was everywhere but nowhere at the same time it seemed to kind of move around the house sometimes you can get a sense in, in a particular room but this was yeah, it's, this was everywhere, but nowhere at the same time, like I said, which is an odd thing to say, but you just kind of got kind of glimpses and like, ugh, that was a bit horrible, weird, weird feelings that you just know you just didn't need to have in, a, in, a, in you know, in some way where you kind of like, you know, I guess you feel safe, really, you know. Mm-hmm. Uh, and yeah, it was probably around so like November. Uh, December was the first kind of inkling when some, something was 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 not right where i was planning to propose to her you know it was, it was with her daughters it was a big secret with her and you know between me and her daughters and stuff well one particular daughter actually i was keeping it away from the other two i think it was around november time late november we're in we're in we're in uh in the bedroom watching tv and then this mirror just went bang bang it's it's kind of like uh i think you've, you've seen the picture it's like on a hinge it's like a hinge in the center on a big oval mirror and it's not an old mirror it's it's you know it's a new one because it's you know it's, i think it's probably from uh, ikea or something like that and it was sat in the corner of this little atrium that we had where we, me and her we used to go and have cigarettes and stuff like that there's no windows open because you know it's cold in in november and that's why i remember what what why why what, what, when it happened because it was cold outside it the force that it swung forward and then backwards at the same time uh i'm surprised the mirror didn't break uh it was so so fast so hard and so like i I could see it in the corner of my eye uh and that spooked both of us out uh because you sit there and think what could have done that and you you you, you go through the checklist really of like is the window open you know is the cat around is that you know is is you know all these things but no it was it it just moved by itself and Gareth, just really quickly, because I have the picture, but nobody else, you know, maybe knows what this looks like. Maybe if with your permission, I can put it in show notes, but not everybody goes to the website. What size is this mirror? Oh, I'd say it was probably about five foot high, something like that. You know, it was on like, like a little stand and it had two arm legs that stood up and it kind of attached to the center. So you could swing it backwards and forwards, sort of thing, you know, mm-hmm. okay. or up and down, you know uh just like a pine frame thing but it, you know like i said there's no way no age to it you know, it wasn't an old mirror by any stretch of the imagination you know, probably about, about 15 years old i should think yeah that, yeah that, that's the best way i can describe it really it's like like i said it's like an oval elliptic elliptic uh, mirror so I, I i got in we got engaged on uh december the 20, 21st i think it was one of the daughters uh filmed it and then when we were looking through the video again, and that's when we started seeing. Now there's now there's there's a rotating Christmas light going on, and you can see the lights because they're right quite bright on, on on the reflection. But this thing doesn't travel in the direction of the lights, and it drops behind me, passes through me, and then passes through my wife, and it kind of zips up in a different direction. So it kind of changes direction about three times. As it's on the on the video, and I might try and see if I can find that and send it to you, but obviously probably not best to, uh, to publish that one. But you'll understand. You'll understand. Now, because it was happy and stuff like that, we we you know we kind of thought that you know in because uh, my wife was quite kind of in, in, you know understanding of uh, yeah ghosts and stuff like that, and, and, you know the, the paranormal. We kind of thought, well, maybe maybe that's that's my sister, you know, because my sister passed in two thousand and six. So if the well, if she's come to join us in our happiness, then that's 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 all all all, all the good sort of thing. And we didn't think it might, may have had anything to do with the mirror. Mm-hmm. So Christmas came and went. Then January, I think it was, 
we were we were lying in bed watching watching TV again, and the, the, we had the lights off, and she had a red dress hanging up by a cupboard door. What was it on a hanger? Yeah, it was kind of like a, on, a, on, a, on a hanger by the cupboard door, and all by itself, it started moving like it was being, I don't know, felt if you know what I mean. I it's, it's hard to, because the waist started scrunching in. We just stared and watched it, watched this for, for like about five minutes, just kind of swinging by itself. It was like a red dress, uh, and that's when we started kind of thinking, yeah, there's there's something more going on here again. And then it started to kind of ramp up a lot. I remember she went downstairs like about a couple of weeks later. She just went down to, to like get get a cup of tea or something like that. I could hear her going down the stairs. And she got to the bottom of the stairs and she, she turned the lights on and she just screamed my name. So I thought, well, what's going on? So you I ran downstairs and she just pointed at me. She goes, look, and there's, there's, there's two lights in the, in, the, in the living room, the lounge. And they were just swinging backwards and forwards. Not at the same time, but they were kind of like pendulum, but one went one way as of one hit the other one and they would swing back against each other. Uh, and we just watched those for ages. And I said, did you do that? And she went, no, no, I didn't do it. No. And then I thought, no, she couldn't have done that because I heard her get to the bottom of the stairs, turn the light on, and then suddenly scream, scream my name. And it was just, again, a catalogue of things that, you know, just pictures flew off the walls uh, on the stairway and constant banging, constant banging. And, and it was quite weird because the neighbours were quiet as mice. You know, you never heard a peep from the neighbours. But there'd be the weird thing was with the banging. No, no, oh God, yeah, no, I totally forgot about this. Yeah, there was this is this was my fault as well, probably. Uh, the youngest daughter was kind of like aware of this as well, uh, because she started experiencing things as well. We we're like, oh, let's play ghost ghost hunting, blah blah blah. So we we were messing around with those little apps you can get on the phone and stuff like that. You know, those uh, I know uh, what they call them boxes. Uh, what are those boxes like, called? Uh, spirit box. Yeah, 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 yeah. Those things. You know, you know the types you can download, and it kind of picks up uh, electromagnetic energy and yeah. blah blah. <laughs> but I, I downloaded one. Mm-hmm. It was one that would make kind of you know uh, noises like like words and, and and names or whatever it was. Foolishly, and um, uh, looking back, I just think what a, what an absolute dick. I'm sat there on my own. In, in in the little atrium by the mirror and I've got my phone pointing at it. It's going like, the kind of the noises that it makes. I can't remember which app it was now. That's foolishly said, go on then if you've got something to say, say it. And it and the phone just went absolutely mental. It kind of started it, it sounded like it would start in the background and it just kind of ramped up right past the phone and then there's a little shower room uh, connected to the atrium. It sounded like every, someone had just got a big pile of plastic shampoo bottles or whatever it was and just threw them on the floor really loudly. Uh, but the door was open to the shower, so I could see that, and just nothing happened. There was nothing, nothing fell on the floor. And I thought, right, okay, that, that, that's it then. That's when I. That's when I know that there's there's something here, and you just you just don't ask it to come back in again. And what uh, what did the phone do? What did the app do? Oh, the app the app just spiked all over the place, and it it just yeah it just kind of it, instead of words it was a, it was a proper growl. Mm. It was a real growl. That's the only way I could describe the noise that it made. And normally it just would like. A, that kind of weird stuff, and then you get uh, kind of words come out on text, but no words came out on the text on this one. And it, but it, it, you could hear it come through the phone as an absolute growl. And yeah, I, I switched the app off. I was, I was like, no, no, done, <laughs> not doing this anymore. And uh, of course, you know, a few hours later, uh, the little one comes up, she's like, yeah, let's go and see if the ghost around. I'm like, no, 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 <laughs> you really don't. Did you tell her uh, what you heard and what happened in the bathroom? Uh, no, 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 no one heard what happened in the bathroom. No, but did you tell her what happened? Oh, no, no. You no, didn't want to scare her? No. Yeah. No, no, exactly. I mean, she, she was quite, you know, she, she'd like watching type horror films and like stuff like that. And she was, she was, a you know, a kid with an imagination sort of thing. But, you know, uh, 
we'd end up sharing weird experiences, uh, you know, just watching TV. And that's, that's, that's when you kind of, when I started to put two and two together, um, it was not really. A light and love spirit, like a, a happy, happy spirit. Yeah, no, yeah. it wasn't. It was something that I don't think like people being together. So again, you know, loads of weird stuff. Oh, course, yeah, the, 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 the best one, uh, one of our favorite ones was we started, we started, I mean, me, me and my uh, wife started asking, asking questions to candles and uh, uh, on a bed table, you know, shut all the windows, shut all the doors. Of course, we're asking it questions and it's, and it's just flickering away. And then it would stop. You know, the candle would, you know, the, the flame would stop dead, dead straight. And then you'd ask it another question. I can't remember. We were asking it loads of stuff, you know. And of course, it would always answer a question. And it would say, you know, you know. I think we were asked, you know, are you friendly? Then there'd be nothing. And it's like, do you want to hurt us? And then it would flicker. Uh, and then, oddly enough, that was in. Uh, I bought a set of candles that that had our initials on, with a heart in between. You know, it's, it's, it's daft stuff like that. You know, you do. Yeah, it would always it would always kind of flicker on a name or initial that was pertinent to the question that was asked. Uh, which was which was, you know, you sit there and you think, well, why were we, why were we even entertaining this? It was, it was kind of a bit of fun, really. But then again, you know, odd stuff happened during the months. And it was just like weird things, like like a pen that I'd have. Would suddenly disappear. Then you think, well, it's just a pen, but then it would just end end up in random places. Like I think one ended up on uh, the mic. It's like a weird thing where it ended up on the microwave, but it was something that I always kept in in like the bedside table, and it just kept moving around. So so we we put it in odd places, and not tell anyone. You know, high on a wardrobe or something like that. We'd find it. You know, one of the girls would find it outside of a bedroom. You know. And it's just a pen, but it's just a weird, you know. And everyone would go, "Well, anyone could have moved it." And you think, "Yeah, anybody would could do." But if no one else knew where where me and my wife put it individually without telling anyone, how would that pen find itself all around the house? It's just, yeah, it just, it just sounds so daft, you know, uh, when you when you say it like that. And then, yeah, when when <laughs> when when we when we got married. We came back and it was, I think it was like the second night after being married. Now, I just got a new phone because I'd stupidly dropped mine and smashed it. So it was a brand new phone uh, and I put it on the ironing board. So we're in this little atrium again having a cigarette and this thing lifted about six inches off the ironing board and flew six foot across the room. And we both saw it and, uh, you know, we nearly set the house on fire because our mouth, cigarettes just dropped out of our mouths. <laughs> it's like, did you see that? I'm like, yeah, of course I saw it. I heard it as well. Uh, and you think, yeah, there's, there's no answer for that. And then it started to, little things started to happen that you could tell that it was directed at me. Uh, and then that kind of culminated in in that go away written on the mirror. Uh, then you, then on you, yeah, no, this is definitely, definitely directed at me. Uh, and it was a kind of strange thing as well, because about a couple of months after, actually, no, it wasn't even a couple of months. It was like a month or a couple of weeks after, um, my wife just changed her personality changed and it spun on, you know, spun on a sixpence because, uh, she just wasn't the person I married. That was that was the scary thing, I think, because if it couldn't get it through itself to me, I think it started trying to get to me through my wife, which was, yeah, kind of kind of a weird one to take, really, because you you can't fight it. And Gareth, can you describe a little bit more, in as much detail as you want, about examples of her personality changing and how that affected your relationship? Uh, yeah, she, I mean, she she was full of life, uh, and then she just withdrew, distant, with withdrawn. I'd say it was it was there was a dis- suddenly a distance between the two of us, uh, which you know when you kind of you, you you're newlywed, you just don't really expect it to, to be there, you know. So it was a very yeah. very quick change. I mean, within a couple of oh, weeks yeah, or yeah. a couple of months. Oh, yeah, yeah. 
yeah i mean it was like you know it's, it's like i could say that it, it it started to feel like it was a couple of months afterwards but when you look kind of look back at it it was like it was it was more or less kind of like a couple of weeks afterwards we got married mm. and it was you know that's 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 when the atmosphere of the house started to really change it didn't really affect the two older girls uh and not not the the youngest one either really uh if she was happy in life and stuff like that and quite unaware of a lot of few things but then i think it was in the summer holiday uh afterwards she was doing a little kind of snapchat video or something like that uh, with a friend uh she's talking away and then her friend screams screams and said it's behind you i think she'd videoed it so she showed me it afterwards and the shadow just kind of drifts right across the wall in the ceiling and her friend i think stopped stopped the conversation and went away so her you know that one's kind of like, you know trying to get back to her and she's she's like she goes look look back on the video look back on the video and you'll see it and she's in tears said, you know this is a friend is in tears so even a friend saw her outside of the house she 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 was she got scratched on her hand while drinking a drinking a coke watching tv it was like a scott it was like yeah it's like a we we call them chicken scratches over here uh where it's just you know when you graze your skin but you don't really cut it if you know what i mean it's like a very mm. red mark and i, I you know I, I had total trust trust in her because you know we, we we'd seen kind of little, little orbs in the in the uh in the rooms and stuff like that just by watching tv and the like you know uh oh yeah the chandelier started swinging as well when we were watching tv which which kind of freaked her out uh a bit <laughs> uh now how many people got scratched did you ever get scratched no, I didn't. No, no, it was uh, it was just the the the, the last one, and then my wife did on the final night, the last t- last time I saw her. Uh, yeah, and that was that was big. That was that was like. Well, now uh, before you get to that, is there any other little things that you wanted to share, or because uh, you you already teased the you know the writing on the mirror, and we and we want to talk about that last night, but I kind of want to make sure we get everything else in before we get to those points. Yeah. The, yeah. The, see the, the, the writing on the mirror can people, you know, uh, how that, that game came about. So we used to go to dinner with the, with our parents on a Sunday. So we'd go in two separate cars. Uh, I don't know why we just did. I think, I think because it wasn't room after time. So my wife left with the, the two oldest daughters and then I left with the little one. But she was downstairs getting ready. And then I ran upstairs to get something, which was by the mirror, picked it up, and then kind of went back down, drove off, had a lovely lovely, lovely meal on Sunday dinner. I had to come back early because I was going driving back to London. So I brought I brought the little one because she had to get ready for school. Uh, so that was fine, you know. Uh, I'm up in the room, sorting my bag out and stuff like that. And then I thought, you know, sit back and watch TV. So I'm watching TV while... Uh, little ones in the shower having a shower now she could shower you know she could drain a lake in a shower it was just you know <laughs> <laughs> half an hour easily so no one had come back by that point and then she came she was getting out of the shower as she came she came out i think her mum came back uh, I think yeah, I think a moment or two the eldest one came back because that picture I actually didn't I thought I'd taken the picture but I hadn't it was it was it was one of them one of the daughters that took the picture and she sent it to me and she the little one just screamed absolute blood curdling scream you think what the heck what what's going on so you know like, you're all right you're all right and she, she goes why did you write something so mean I'm like write what <laughs> and she said, why did you write that so something so mean on on the on the mirror and uh i said i didn't write anything she goes look you've written that so i looked at it and it was just like wow that wow that that happened while i was sitting in sitting on a bed watching tv and then she was in the shower room next door and it was it was written go away on the mirror yeah go away yeah and it was and do you know what it was it was i I actually asked, said to her, I said, what did, why did you write it for? She, she said, I didn't. And uh, so I went to, so I, you know, you went to see what it's, what it's like. And it was, I thought it was wax. I thought it was a wax candle, but it wasn't wax at all. 
and of course then by that point people have come back and uh, they come, came upstairs and then my wife saw it and she she froze the so like the, young, the second youngest one was freaking out of that, that one as well she goes well, who wrote that who wrote that so we don't know we don't know and gareth you had, you had quite a good relationship with all three of her daughters correct oh god yeah 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 it was uh yeah, it was, it was, it was good. Yeah, yeah, you know, you know, there was, a, there was like a, like a, let's say, 10 year age gap between the oldest and the youngest. So each of different ages. And uh, what were their ages? Yeah, at, what were their ages at the time? Let's see. The youngest one would have been about 10. The other one was doing her exam. So that would have been about 15, 16. And then the other one was 19. So yeah, it was, yeah, it was around those ages. And, you know, it's a classic kind of age, you know, uh, mm-hmm. but I, I don't think that had anything to do with it. <clears throat> I really don't, you know, uh, A, because the two oldest didn't have a clue what was going on, you know, <laughs> they didn't, they didn't sense anything, uh, or didn't, or, ha- or didn't have any experiences themselves, whether they could feel it or not. I don't know. Uh, but they just didn't, didn't happen to, to those. Oh no, actually no. The second one, uh, the pen kept hit, appearing outside her door. And then she kept hearing whistling a lot. And I actually went up and I go back to think about that. And then that, that yeah, because we, we, we started hearing whistling on, on the, the last night, which was quite bizarre. But yeah, because that came from absolutely nowhere. So it mostly interacted with you and the youngest who was around 10 at the time and then your wife. Yeah. 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 But then it, it, it did. I don't think it did. I don't think it did interact after we got married because oh god yeah completely forgot about this one as well yeah no uh before we got married it was about i think it was about march she woke up and she just saw me standing uh in front of the uh, in in front of a built-in wardrobe the odd thing was though i cleared it of all old stuff that she had kept and that had wasn't relevant and i was like i'm getting rid of this so i got rid of it and she said she goes you just stood there for like two hours she said you just didn't move. You stood still for two hours. Yeah, she said. She said you just didn't move. Oh she said, my I tried goodness, you. that would creep me right out. Yeah, and she said I couldn't wake you. She said I tried to move you, and you couldn't move. And you, of course, have no memory of this. No, no recollect, no recollection of it whatsoever. It was yeah, and it was yeah. I was, I was like, well, I must have moved. You know, I must. You, know, you must have been making up. She said, no, you just stood there staring at the. She said, "She goes. Your eyes weren't open, but you were. You could tell you you, you were staring at the cupboard. Yeah, that was a yeah. That, that you know, when you can't think think back, yeah, that that's that's a kind of a weird loss of control. You know, to be asleep and just stand there for two hours. You know, she said I was just watching TV. She said because you weren't moving. I mean, do <laughs> you ha- do you have some kind of history of sleepwalking? Had you ever done that before? <clears throat> no, no, never slept walked in my life. Never slept walked in my life." Yeah, and she said, she goes, you just turned around and just like got back into bed again. Like nothing. Yeah, that was, that was a kind of a strange, strange experience not to have, but have at the same time. Right, exactly. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, and then it was a kind of weird thing where after the little one got scratched, it went quiet. It was... Because it started to be feel like every time I went up there, it was just like, what's going to happen this week? What's going to happen this week? I think I kind of reached out to uh, to the Facebook group. But, you know, what Facebook groups like, you know, this like stuff goes past, like, you know, you put things, something at the wrong time and then 20 people put, right. a, put a message on, you know, and you just get lost. I, I, you know, it got to the point where I was like, you know, desperate for help sort of thing. But, you know, that's, that's a, you know, that's, that's, you know, like I get Facebook groups, you know, and uh, because, the, 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 didn't know. Yeah, I just got fed up of not knowing what was going to happen, and it became tiring as well. And that's that's the thing. So I think someone wrote wrote and out and said, you know, don't break the mirror, don't, <laughs> don't break the mirror, you know, because I, it got to the point where I knew where it was coming from, and I wanted to get rid of the mirror. I tried. I think it was about five times between then and the last night to try and get rid of the mirror but every time i did uh something stopped me uh like what whether it was 
well, whether it was something to do with the daughters or my wife saying, no, don't get rid of it. I'm like, no, I'll just get a new one. She goes, don't get rid of it until you get a new one. I'm like, oh, yeah, of course, yeah, yeah, because you need a mirror. And then, you know, I'd have to leave back, leave to come back to London for work and stuff like that. And, you know, uh, it, it never really happened. Yeah, that's, that's, that's one of my biggest regrets. But then at the same time, seeing it halfway through, well, I think it was like the third, after the third time I tried to get rid of it, I actually saw it, you know, I, I'd never actually even mentioned about getting rid of the mirror inside the house because I just didn't think that was wise. So I think it was just, you know, I think it was omnip- it was it was ever present. And it was a weird thing where we were, we were going out having, having a cigarette and it just moved slowly. It didn't, didn't bash or, it just just me just moved slowly and then we'd hear like bangs and stuff like that and pictures coming off the walls and 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 the like again that's when i kind of realized i can't i can't actually i'm going to try and get rid of it but i don't know if it's in the house or not in the house because i think that's how it comes in i think when the, when the mirror moves that that's when it comes in yeah, so that's why uh, you felt even just moving it somewhere else inside the house or covering it up, that wouldn't have done anything. Ah, right. So, yeah, I I thought, you know what? If if I can't get rid of the mirror, I'll move the mirror. So I moved, and that's when it went quiet. I moved the mirror just to the opposite corner, uh, changed the whole layout of the room so it was much more, much, much, much more relaxing and, you know, and, and comfortable place, place to chill and, and be in. It stopped. Everything stopped. And it was just like, it didn't, and it was almost instant. There was a kind of, a, there was a kind of uh, lightness in the house again. And I was like, oh, all I had to do was move the mirror. <laughs> That's all I had to do was move the mirror. So do you uh, think it was just. But I thought uh, I was still uh, going to get rid of it. You think <laughs> I was still going to get rid of it. <laughs> but do you think it was just playing with you, obviously? It was just, it was letting you get comfortable again. Uh, I don't know. I think just that being in, not being in that place, being in a different place for so long. I was like, not being in the place it had been in since day one, I think it kind of just dislodged its kind of access to access sort of thing. Uh, but I think it clocked on. You know, and how uh, long? How long did the piece last? Uh, oh, only was it that was in late? I think it was July. I did that, so it would have probably been about July, August, September, October, November. Yeah, no, 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 uh, no. sorry, hang on. Uh, July, August, September. Yeah, two months, two months. And then is this when we start to work into this this final kind of coup de gras yeah. night? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Because again, my wife kind of lightened up, and it was it, it kind of went back back to normal and stuff like that. And uh, we went through our first first anniversary. And yeah, it was it was all good, you know. We're we're enjoying life again, sort of thing. And then yeah, it it just kicked off one night. It was it was it just so we had dinner and my wife went down. I'd uh, had gone down for a lie down and stuff like that, you know. And uh, we're we're downstairs watching TV. And then the little one says, "Because I'm going to go out and lie down in my room." I'm like, "Yeah, fine, yeah, do whatever," you know. And I can't remember what I was watching. I think I might actually. I think I may have been actually playing Call of Duty. I think it was. And I thought I was gonna. Get, I'm just gonna make myself a cup of tea. So stood up, went to, went into the kitchen, and then I heard this audible shout of gas, so loud, and I started running up the stairs. As I'm running up the stairs, the little one runs out of her bedroom. And I said, did you call me? She went, and she goes, no, that came from upstairs. I said, did you hear that? She goes, yeah, someone shouted your name. So we ran upstairs. As we as we get to the top of the stairs, there was a mighty crash, exactly like that, that exactly like the noise I heard when uh, the bottles came out, flying out. Like someone had dropped all the shampoo bottles. That woke my wife up. She, she started screaming. Two of the pictures on the landing flew off. We walked into the room and the door slammed shut behind us. And uh, although that wasn't the first time, I remember, remember it happening again. 
just slowly. It was very, really weird. But yeah, anyway. Uh, so it was like, what was, what was that noise? What was that noise? It's like, was that, did you drop him? Did you fall out of bed? And she goes, no, no, I've been asleep. And, was, and it was, I was like, no, I, I can't say. And I thought, no, I say, I said, but I've heard that now before. I said, that's from the mirror. And she goes, what do you mean it's from the mirror? I said, no, 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 I explained about the sort of like <laughs> stupid thing I did with the, uh, with the phone. It just, it just started a kind of, it started weirdly where someone started whistling and only me and the little one could hear it. It was a five, five note whistle. And it was like, and it was like, oh God, that just chills me actually even whistling it myself because it was ugh. and my wife and it's like you can you must be able to hear that you must be able to she goes no she goes all I can hear is an old woman singing an old woman singing yeah oh boy and I'm like and I'm like no no it's 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 a man whistling and what did the youngest hear she, she heard the whistling she says she goes no it's an old man whistling I said yes yeah, exactly it's no and I said right okay one two three whistle and we both whistled the tune at exactly the same time. I was like, right, Kate, no, you know. Then the lights went off, on and 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 off. I, was, I challenged it. I said, just go. I said, you're not wanted here. You're not wanted here. And I'm not giving, I'm, I said, I'm, because by that point, I kind of figured out what was going on. And I said, I'm, not gonna, I'm never going to give you what you want. And that's when the mirror went bang. It kind of flipped up from the bottom. So the bottom went out forward. He thought, okay, job done, job done. So we're again watching TV, everything calmed down. We're chatting away. Uh, and I'm, I'm lying on the bed. I could just see the mirror slowly move down over my wife's head because she was sat in front of it rolling a cigarette. And she's like, G, 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 G. Gee, I said, yeah, no, I can see it, I can see it, I can see it. And then she changed. It was like it was like somebody else had taken over it. To the point where the little one started crying. It was just a challenge to talk to her. It really was. And that's when she became absolutely belligerent. To the point where she, she turned around and she goes, who the are you? Who are you? Get out of my house. And it's like, well, please, you know. <laughs> was her voice any different, Gareth? Yeah, it was the same voice, but not her voice. That, that's, uh, that's not, again, that sounds like a contradiction, but it there was a different tone to it. it like, you know, intonation, or mm -hmm. if that's a word. And that's when, yeah, that's when, that's when I started shouting down for the oldest one to come up. Because uh, I knew there was nothing I could do. I knew there was nothing I could do. And then, then, then she, she started behaving or pretending to be someone who I knew who'd commit suicide. And it was like, no, I know it's not you. No, it's not you. What was she uh, saying to make you realize that that was going on? Uh, it was just so argumentative and kind of, she, it was like she, she just got in a huff and a bad mood uh, for no reason whatsoever. And that's when she, when she started claiming to be, to be my friend, it was like, all right then, well, when was the last time we, we met then? And every answer was kind of, avoided the answer, you know. I was like, no, go on, just answer. It's a simple question. <laughs> you know, it's a simple question. And then she changed. She was like, what's going on? Who are you talking to? I'm like, well, apparently I'm talking to, to my friend. And I didn't, I hadn't kind of noticed, but we'd left the mirror where it was and that kind of moved, tilted forwards. So I said, right, okay, I'm, I'm going to go down and get a cup of tea because, you know, or something stronger because I'm, I'm done. I'm, 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 I'm done with this. So I went down and got, got, got a glass of wine or a beer, I think it was. 
And as I'm coming upstairs, her and the little one absolutely screamed, absolutely screamed. So my wife said, it's the old woman, the old woman, the old woman's here. There's an old woman here. The little one said, she goes, yeah, yeah, no, I heard her as well. I heard her as well. She just screamed in our faces. I said, what do you mean she's screaming in your face? She, she goes, we just heard a scream in our faces. She said, we can feel the breath as well. So, yeah, it was like, oh, it's back. And, again, told her to go away. And I think I can't remember if it, it, what happened after that. It was a bit hazy after that. Uh, I don't know. Do you remember, do you remember my wife sitting down rolling to have a cigarette again, like half an hour later? That's when <laughs> her legs flew up in the air and she slid four feet across the floor. And she, she, that's when she said, she goes, my back's burning, my back's burning. And I said, what do you mean your back's burning? She was, she, so she, she lifted up a, uh, a T-shirt and there were three big red marks right down going from her shoulder, just like both shoulders right across her back. And that was right, that was frightening. Because you, you just know it's, it's, it's more than that now. It's more than just the kind of noises and bumps and stuff like that. So I think I, I actually think I think I prayed actually at that point. I think I, do I, you know, yeah, I think I was just, you know, if, if you're there, God, just get rid of it. Just, I can't, I can't do this anymore. And then it left. It was, it was a weird one. It, it just stopped, but it was so, so draining because it was just constantly kind of that whistling that, you know, not knowing where it was in the room, not knowing if it was in the room or not, not knowing if it would do anything to you, not knowing, knowing if it would do anything to, you know, my wife and the little one. And of course, eventually it did do something to my wife. Uh, and that's when I said, look, I'm, I'm getting rid of this. I'm getting rid of this mirror. And that's when she defended, she said, she goes, you're not, you're never going to get rid of that mirror. And I was like, no, yeah, we have to get rid of it. We have to get rid of it. And I think she may have actually said, if, if you get rid of the mirror, we're done. And I was like, it's just a mirror. Well, it's not just a mirror. Do you know what I mean? It's like I said, I can't have that thing coming into the house anymore. But yeah, so I went home on the Monday, I think it was. Oh, the Sunday? Yeah, Monday, early Monday morning uh, to be in to, for London. And that's when my head gasket blew on my car. And yeah, that was the last time I saw my wife. So she and asked for a divorce shortly thereafter? No, I know I asked for one. I asked for one. Uh, good because other things happened. I think, I think what it wanted was me either away, gone, or to, you know, push my wife to the point where I would be, you know, there would be a physical response towards towards my wife, and I think it's it's a frightening thing when you realise that you're completely out of control. And, and, and you know, I've, I've mentioned this to people before, and they don't believe you, but it's like, you know, imagine if you got, I kind of, you know, I, I said this to one person once. I said, imagine if you lived in a gated community and you got burgled. You'd believe it because you live in a gated community, and that's not supposed to happen, you know. <laughs> uh, well, those kind of along those lines, you know, it's yeah. So, Gareth, yeah. in your, I think it was in the very first email to me, you know, the subject line was essentially "demon in the mirror." Yeah. So, I mean, was it the three scratches, which classically we think of as something? mocking the Holy Trinity, right? So was it at that point you thought you started to think, well, this is maybe something demonic or was it some of the other stuff before? I mean, you're hearing, uh, you know, the, the whistling, but then, um, there's, you know, a singing from an old woman, which you're not hearing, but she is, I mean, there's all kinds of different things going on here. At what point did you think that this was something demonic? I think it was when the go away came on. I kind of had an idea. I can't think of an idea when I, I I was messing around with the the phone the phone thing, but when that go away came on, that was that was personal. And and 
I have to say, when that's the stuff that was it was written with, I said, you know, I thought it was candle wax, but it, 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 you know, you try and scrape it off and it just wouldn't come off. We tried nail polish remover, methylated spirits. Uh, I think we tried bleach at one point, you know, lighter fluid at some point. But yeah, it, it took a lot to get that off. Oh, and incidentally as well, we we, we started noticing uh, there's another another little mirror in the in the shower room, and that started having uh, French writing in it. French writing? Um, yeah, I don't I, I, I don't I can't remember. I wish I'd taken a picture of that as well. But if if this bathroom would get steamy, it would just appear. Uh, so you'd wipe the mirror down and stuff like that, and uh, you know you'd have a shower the next day, and there it would be again. And any of you like, guys speak it was French? Like it, was, it was like it was etched in that mirror, but mm. not etched, if you know what I mean. And any of you guys speak any French? No. <laughs> no, not at all, no. Uh, and I can't remember what it said because it was, it was uh, written in French, sort of thing, and I wish I could remember what that was now. But, uh, yeah, that was, a, that was a strange thing to uh, have, just keep coming back all the time. It was the same phrase. It was the uh, same phrase over and over again. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So it was it – was, it was, you know, whether someone had put something on, on on the mirror or something, I don't know. But you couldn't you couldn't see it if there wasn't any steam. And was no, it so always you, in the exact same spot? I mean, yeah, that, yeah, that was always in the same spot. Yeah, yeah, that one. It was just like a little bathroom mirror sort of thing, you know. Yeah, that just that was a weird one. Yeah, I can remember that. Yeah, Gareth, when you mentioned that uh, on that kind of final night, that there were two pictures. That flew off. Do you remember what two pictures those were that that flew off of the the standard? Uh, no, they were just kind of like I don't know, kind of uh, you know. I think it was. I think they were kind of flowers. Yeah, they were uh, flowers. Okay, yeah, they were pictures. decorative pictures. I got gotcha. you. Okay, I just didn't know if it was you know happened to be pictures of certain people. No, That's what I was no, wondering. No, no, no. Okay. No, 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 no. Now, okay, so you guys are are now divorced. Obviously, you're no longer with her. Has do you feel like anything has followed you? No, not at all. Quite yeah, quite quite No, I mean I've I've lived like I said, it's like I've I've lived in I've lived in a haunted house once, and I've been on holiday in a haunted house, and knew something was there, but now nothing, nothing ever since. Well, that's that's positive at least. Yeah, it is. Yeah, and then you kind of like no, I think, but then at the end of the day, you know, it's just the sad thing is, I think the thing got what it wanted. Right. You know, well, what about, uh, so are you in touch with the stepdaughters at all? Uh, just one, just one. Or are they having any more activity at home? Not that I know of. Uh, as far as, yeah, I mean, I am, I'm, you know, even, yeah, no, no, as far as I know, no. So, so again, but, like you said, it, it may have gotten what it wanted. So no reason yeah. to, to keep it up. No, exactly. Yeah. It just exists. You know, it's, it, it, you know, I think I think it enjoys seeing people get hurt, but a particular kind of person get hurt. If you know what I mean? Uh, I think it enjoys women getting hurt. It takes pleasure out of creating a kind of some, uh, you know, an environment that that allows that to happen. You know. Uh, do you think that one of its goals was to have you, uh, you know, hit her or abuse her physically yeah. in some yeah, way? Yeah, 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 I do. Yeah, I do. Yeah, that's why I think that's why I think it couldn't do it itself, so it tried to do it through my wife. Right. That's why she was. She kept taunting you. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, whatever I, I, was in her, let's say, was yeah. taunting you. Yeah. Well, I'm sorry all that happened to you, Gareth. I mean, it's not a. Not a positive story or a happy story in any way, shape, or form. No, no, it's uh, and that's the thing, you know. It's I was saying it's like if you if you if you're in an environment where you know it changes, or you buy a mirror or something like that, or something new and comes into your house uh, and things start changing, you know, I think I think the advice I was given was take it away, don't break it if it's a mirror. But give it away. But then you kind of just think, no, do you know what? No, because I wouldn't want anybody else to go with that. And I think that's why I stopped wanting to get rid of the mirror because I suddenly realized, I thought, do you know, it's not going to leave here. It's not going to leave this this thing. So wherever it goes, because it's got, you know, you know, being an alien, going back to the background, you know, it's like 
if it's if it lives in the mirror, you know, it or uses that as a kind of portal or whatever it was, just well, by its mere mere existence, then you know, I wouldn't want to wish that on anybody else. Well, doesn't I'd it? Rather, I'd rather I'd rather take that than have somebody else have that issue, if, you know, have right. that to them because I don't think I I don't think I could knowingly do that, you know. And I think that's why why I just, just the idea went out of my head. But then, you know, when that last night happened, I went, no, I'm getting rid of it. Uh, and then it was no, no, no. Well, it sure makes you wonder, you know, did the, you know, sure, it wasn't a very old mirror. You said it was like around 15 years old. But <laughs> what happened to it within that 15 years? Did someone use it in some kind of a, a seance or a ritual? Or was it in the home of a place where, I don't know, let's just go the other direction. Uh, you know, zero to 100, a house where people were murdered or something. You know, what yeah. kinds of things did it absorb that it, exactly. it had these this thing or these things attached to it. Yeah, uh, you know, or was 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 it ever, you know was it something that was, was always in it? I don't know. Or, or was it just like I said, you know, was its mere existence the ability to just, like be a gateway to come into mm, it? Mm-hmm. You know, just it's just by the sheer fact that it was made. You know, I've, you know. Well, and, you know, mirrors are powerful things. I mean, I've talked about that that word that I love so much, the psychomantium. You know, it's just that small dark room and you put the mirror in there and that's all it takes. And it's all about the intention. So who knows? Yeah, Uh, yeah, yeah, because it's like, you know, wherever you put that in the world, whatever, wherever it comes from, then it knows where, you know, it's it's got a light now into it's got a light into our world. Right. You know, big known sign over it, you know, it's like. Earth here, <laughs> you know, uh, but yeah, as far as uh, you know, I mean, the mirror is still with your ex-wife, and yeah, 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 you know, and uh, yeah. Goodness me! Well, I'm I'm really sorry about all that, Gareth, but I'm I appreciate you sharing, of course. That's all right, no problem at all. No, it's like I said, you know, it's like I felt the time was right to like give my story, but. Uh, but also, yeah, like I said, you know, it's like there's an existence for the people, you know, if you if you bring anything new into the house and you notice that someone's changing or anything like that, you know, it's like go through a checklist. But obviously that's going to be the very last one you've, right. <laughs> you've kind of, <laughs> you know, you, you kind of come to, you know, uh, you know, uh, but yeah, just just something I never expected in, in, uh, in reality, you know. Uh, even 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 though I've experienced uh, strange stuff in other places before, yeah, this one was completely different, been way off the scale. That and that was the thing. It was like you never felt in control or be able to control it. You know, which which is the frightening thing, I think. Well, yeah, Gareth, so. I, I really appreciate you sharing. Thank you so much. And I tell you what, if I'm ever in London, which hopefully one day I will be because I want to go and visit where I'm actually originally from, I will look you up and we can go have a drink at the pub. See, yeah, I, got, oh, I have to use definitely. the right words. You know, it's not the bar, it's the pub. Yes, yeah, the pub, yeah. Yes. <laughs> got to say these things gonna... properly. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, you'll see it's like bar over it, but it's, nah, it's the pub. <laughs> <laughs> Just uh, as long as you say alcohol, beer, yeah. you're like, okay, let's go to the place at the thing and get the yeah, <laughs> in, the, in a pint glass. <laughs> yes, uh, get, yeah, get a, a proper pint for yeah, for us. Exactly. Yeah, and it, and it won't be warm. We don't serve warm beer anymore. <laughs> yeah, that's a myth, right? We're you guys are way past that. Come on now. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I mean, I've been drinking for quite a long time now. Uh, <laughs> quite a while. Yeah, you can attest; it's fine now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's always been cold. <laughs> yeah, uh, these improper myths are so unfair. Well, Gareth, thank I you know. so much. Will you please keep in touch with me? I will do indeed. Yeah, and uh, I'd actually like to thank you as well because I started listening to Into the Fray because uh, through that little rogue Ryan Sprague, because I used to listen to uh, Somewhere in the Skies uh, driving up from uh, London to uh, to the Midlands. Uh, every weekend and uh, kind of ran out of episodes for him so I, got, I caught him really early on and uh, I you know, started listening to uh, Into the Fray and it's kind of you hear all these stories and you, you know it's like yeah that's cool that's cool it's cool yeah it's a cool story and you just don't expect to end up living in it right which is the weird thing right 
Um, on the other side as well, when when all that bad stuff was happening, it was what well, kind of chain, you know, give me a kind of solace actually. Where I I tried not to do this, but you know, I don't know, I don't know, I never did. Was to just to fast forward to uh, Mr. Alan Watts and that little kind of you know that little lecture that you, yeah. you get at the end of the fray. You know, it's uh, and that kind of yeah, you, you take on board what that what you actually listen to the words. They're they're actually awesome words. You know, uh, they really are. They really are. That's why I I knew that it fit immediately, and I I'm so lucky that uh, Electus official lets me utilize that, you know, that's their beat. And then they cut in that Alan Watts lecture, which if you look up Alan Watts, he has so many great talks. Uh, but that oh. one I came across and I just, I thought, Oh, please, please let me get permission to use this song. And they did. And I'm so, so oh. grateful for it. Oh, I'm so glad he did. So glad he did. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Because uh, I mean, it wasn't just even this kind of like in, in that moment where, uh, all that bad stuff is going on and that's you know it ends up being a kind of kind of grounding really but right. it, yeah it just when you actually kind of start listening to, listening to it you kind of think that makes so much sense yeah it, you know, it we, puts things in can, perspective you know a little bit more yeah uh, which it, is easy to lose in a lot of the, our day-to-day stuff right it is, but it also, you know, you 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 kind of gain so much control by actually understanding the words of your own life, and it's just like you know, there is no past and there is no future, but there is only the present, you know, and you can only kind of control the present, really, you know. See, you get it. Yeah. Not everybody yeah. likes the closing song, and they they don't understand why I put the, you know, or I didn't put Alan Watts in there, but why I chose that, and I'm like, did you listen to the? to the words you know it's really yeah. powerful yeah you know it's just like you know spring spring doesn't uh, was it summer doesn't become spring spring uh, spring comes from summer or something like that it's yeah. like you, you play that in your head and you're like no that's like chicken and egg thing, thing. but now exactly. it's like <laughs> you know you, you get it see to Gareth, to to... you totally get it and i appreciate that <laughs> so, no 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 honestly it, it, it it's actually become more fundamental to the way i think and live my life sort of thing than anything else because like like you said you know you go on youtube and whatever and start listening to his other lectures and it's just like wow geez there's a, there's a bigger universe out there that, we're just you know, a tiny little speck but still indeed, still yeah, important just 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 little kind of dust flowing through time that's right <laughs> and you know what's so funny but look Look at how far we are from each other. And it's it's funny because when I talked to Debbie, you know, a couple episodes ago with the Elemental uh, episode, her connection was fantastic. I mean, it's most, I, have, I think I, she I had Skype as well, but your one. connection is fantastic. You guys' connection is far better than most people that I talk to right here in my own country. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, what is happening right now? Like this, I, I guess I just need to start interviewing everyone overseas. No, but um, it's just been funny how that had, that's been working out. I've had a couple different people that I still need to contact. If you're listening, you know who you are. That you know they was they sounded robotic, and we couldn't even execute the uh, the interview. Oh, but yeah. uh, it, it's like you're in the next room. It's fantastic. You sometimes sometimes technology is incredible. Even though, even though it took us ages to get <laughs> it, uh, no, like, that's that's on Skype, on email or the WhatsApp. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's always the iteration of, well, do, yeah, can you call me through this? No, can you call me through that? No, unfortunately, not. You know, there's only a couple different ways that I can record, but um, but it worked out, so time, that's all that matters. And the time difference as well, you know, like I said, yes. like, where's the flat earth? The flat earth would be so much cool, like <laughs> that darn flat earth, man. It gets us every time, doesn't it? I know, yeah, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> well, Gareth, you enjoy the rest of your evening. Again, thank you so very much for sharing this uh, this story with everybody. Uh, no, ab- ab- absolute pleasure, absolute pleasure. It's uh, yes, yeah, it's, it's, it's kind of a strange thing to so like you know, again, listen, been listening to it for what three three years now. Yeah, into the fray for three years. Yeah, must oh, be. Thank you. Easily, easily, yeah. Uh, you know, and I have to say, when when people don't believe in uh, the existence of uh, you know Sasquatch, you kind of think, oh come on, just drive. I mean, I I drove like all the way from uh, New Jersey all the way down through Tennessee, like West Virginia, Virginia, right around through. I did a little bit of like UFO trip when I went to Roswell and the like, and Area Fifty One, 
and then up to Devil's Tower. So it's, I, my turning point was always going to be Las Vegas. If you're ever in Las Vegas, don't do the strip. Just go to Fremont. It's so much better. And then the uh, neon neon bone the the uh, neon bone sign, whatever the the bone neon sign. Yeah, place. yeah, they have all the old signs there in one uh, in one little place. Yeah, but you, you know, if you, you end up driving through like uh, the Shenandoah kind of like park where a national park is, you think. You know, there's so much space where something can just disappear. Oh, yeah, you know? especially if you go from the East Coast and you're, you know, anywhere near the um, that Appalachian Trail up and down and you're going, yeah, there are there are lots of spaces for other yeah. things. So uh, don't dismiss it so quickly. Yeah, I mean, yeah, because I mean, I used, to have a, I used to have a girlfriend that I used to go backwards and forwards to see in Canada, in, uh, in Ontario, and uh yeah, it's just like you don't have to walk about twenty feet into the forest, and you can turn around, and it all looks the same. You know, it's like <laughs> it's quite easy for if you want to hide, you can hide in those places quite easily. You know, it's and it's so vast. You know, it's just a you know uh, undiscovered country still. I think. You know, it's, uh, so yeah, yeah, I love love those uh, love those uh, uh, Sasquatch stories. They're excellent. Yeah. Well, thank you. I do too. That's that's some yeah. of my favorite stuff is the old Bigfoot stuff. Oh, yeah. yeah. And Robert, of course. If you pop the And Robert. Mm-hmm. I still <laughs> want to meet Robert. I always say any chance I get, Robert, I would love to meet you. <laughs> yeah. That, uh, well, would you though? I don't know. Uh, I know, right? Be careful what you wish for. I think I really would though because, I mean, it seems like he's as jarring as it would be and maybe I wouldn't sleep for six months after seeing someone change everything about their face. Um, I probably still would because he didn't really seem to want to hurt anybody. Except I don't know what the book of names was. That may that sound, seemed a little nefarious to me. Yeah. Yeah, the book of names, yeah. <laughs> yeah, just just names. No numbers, no addresses, just just the names. Just You're like, the, hmm, yeah. what does this mean? Uh. Yeah, it's no, obviously no. the trail of bodies that he's left, obviously. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's where my mind looking. is. Like, oh, no, he's kind of a bad dude. <laughs> yeah, that's why he keeps so young looking. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, well, the, yeah. Uh, it's the, the, like the royal blood conspiracy theories and things, uh, or baby blood and all that. Um, obviously, that's how Robert stays so young. I mean, that's what Nick said. He's like, I guarantee, I did, or no, he didn't say I guarantee. He said, I have a feeling that if I met Robert again, he would look he would be just the same age. Yeah, he would, he would still that, be around one, 19. Uh, I was driving, driving, driving up, uh, on the motorway, uh, uh, listening to that one. I had to pull over. I was like, no, no, I'm not listening to it anymore. It's got stopped. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But you kind of got the sense that it was like, she's going to ask the question. She's going to ask the question. She, and you asked it. And I was like, oh, God, he's going to ask the same. He's going to get the answer that everyone knows. Yeah, like, you know, it's coming. You already know what he's going to say. But you just have to hear it. You know, you have to hear him yeah. say it. You're like, oh, my God, he it, it did. He said it. <laughs> uh, and the guy with the mask is the week as well. Uh. Yeah. Oh, that was a good one. Yeah. Mm. Uh, it's a strange world out there, Shannon. Sure is. Well, and that's why I appreciate well, everybody, including yourself, that are willing to come on and share parts of their own uh, weird, weird world, if I could speak with me. So thank you. That's no problem at all, Sharon. All right, keep in touch, Gareth. I saw you called you Sharon. It's Shannon. Everybody <laughs> does that. that. Don't worry about it. Don't don't even don't even worry. I'm sure people call you Garrett, and you're like, it's Gareth. I mean, I yeah, to... yeah, no, yeah. I had someone call me. Spend four weeks calling me Graham. It's like that's not my name. It's yeah. not even close to my name. You're like Graham. I mean, that's it sounds all fancy, but that's not my name. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> the Sharon thing happens all the time, so don't even worry about that. that. That's that's why everything everything comes back to uh, uh, Kaz. It's so easy, so easy. Ah, ah. Actually, that's something I actually know. You could probably might maybe edit this back in. Actually, uh, the reason why when I ran upstairs that time, I forgot to mention. Look, I got got, got, got got in the flow there. We, because because I heard the name Gaz shouted, I knew it wasn't my wife because she never called me that, and it was a weird thing where we. Where for that brief moment in the evening where it went all quiet, she did sit down. And she goes, "What do you run upstairs for?" I said, "Because I heard, I heard someone shout my name." I remember the little one saying, "She goes, yeah, I heard it too, but as well, Mum, I heard it as well." And she's like, "Well, what, what, what? Who shouted you?" I said, "I said I knew it wasn't you, because you never called me Gaz. You always called me G." 
Well, at least you had the confirmation of the younger one who would, for the yeah. most part, if she was home, yeah. she would experience this stuff with you. Thank goodness. Yeah, I, I just, I just, uh, in, in a, some, in, in a weird way, go, oh, yeah, yeah, you know, this, this, this come, this comes back. It was the person who shouted at me was my sister. I know that for a fact, and I think whether she was kind of getting shouting at me to get into the room to stop something happening, I don't know, but I but. I hadn't heard heard that that voice for oh what eleven years. Yeah, gotta be eleven years. Yeah, that must um, have been very jarring. I, I knew it was her straight away, and it was like that's why I just dropped everything and ran upstairs. Mm. So was, she was uh, trying to look out for you in some way, shape, yeah, or form. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was that. That was that was a. Oh God, yeah, geez, 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 geez. completely forgot about that, Shannon. Sorry. Uh, no, that's all right. I'm just gonna yeah. leave, we'll leave it in. It's it's all important stuff. So. Yeah. Yeah. No. <laughs> yeah, that was there. That was that was yeah. That, yeah, I think it's that that coupled with, uh, you know, my my friend who committed suicide, supposedly being there as well. But yeah, so. Yeah. Of course, the, the the thing that I'm sure a lot of people would be saying as well is, you know, this whole trickster element to all of this is it could just be that thing mimicking other people. Yeah, maybe. But then, you know, you know, my sister had gone for 10 years before before I met my wife sort of thing, you know, uh, how it would know and sound like my sister. I don't know because I know I know my sister went to a good place. You know. Oh no, absolutely! I mean, that thing wasn't anywhere near her. No. But you know, they no, they say no, that no. these things are timeless and ageless, and they've you know just kind of always been here. So you know what that means for us if they get their sights on us, I'm not quite so sure. But and unfortunately, yeah. you may have found out. Obviously, yeah. if that's what <laughs> yeah. we're talking about. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah. But anytime, and I've said it a million times, here's a million and five. When it's going on in your own house, it's not quite so cool and interesting and fun. Yeah, no, that's the thing. It's like people kind of like, oh, I'd love to have that. Love to have that. No, you don't. You, you really don't. You know, it's it does what it wants, uh, and you have no control over it, and your life does not become yours anymore. Yeah. You know, I think that's 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 probably the way where you could sum it up. Really, uh, is by saying that. You know, it's. If you think you want it, don't really, you know, it's, it's you know, you know, you can, you know, we all, we both know there's loads of ways to open doors and stuff like that, but just don't because some things are attached to this world and some things don't leave and you can communicate with them and that's fine. And, you know, but some things don't want to be contacted, but they'll contact you. Yeah, and you're going to find out the hard way that they do not appreciate being contacted or pulled into your little world. Yeah, um, I, and, I, and I know for a fact that when I did the stupid thing with the phone, uh, I don't think that was I had that had anything to do with it. I think it was it was already in the, in, in in the mirror because the stuff happened before. Oh yeah, before that that ever happened, you know. Oh yeah, that wasn't your I fault. That, that was just I think that was just a kind of gentle. Yeah, I'm here. You know, I'm here. Let's get it on, sort of thing, you know. So it's. Uh, but you, and that's 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 the scary thing as well. It's like you know, ultimately, I don't think I knew I could ever win. No, especially not no. if it's what you you are labeling it. You know, I think if it was more of a human spirit versus inhuman, I I think that most people would agree they'd rather deal with a human spirit. Uh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. In, yeah inhuman yeah, is I think uh, that's a whole another ball of wax. Yeah. If that's what's going yeah. on, or what was going on, or probably maybe still going on, if she has that darn mirror uh, and is susceptible yeah. to that, so. But that's that thing as well. It's like when I saw the scratches on the back. That was that was, you know, I don't know a ghost that could do that, you know, because they they were big, they were big, you know, and to actually so like drag her across the floor as well was just like. Geez. Yeah, that's something that has a whole lot of energy at its disposal. Yeah, which is very scary. 
a lot of energy, you know, to, to, to move someone who's, I don't know, how I you, I don't know, your, your poundage sort of thing, but, you know, she, she wasn't, she wasn't, you know, she was, she was a thin girl, my wife, you know, uh, she was, she, she didn't weigh much. Uh, she's only like five foot two sort of thing, you know, uh, yeah, that was, yeah, even, even, even a person size just to move across the floor on their own, by their own, you know, the legs up in the air and then try and stop themselves. Because I remember mm-hmm. if she put her arm out to try and stop herself. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God, yeah. This, this is kind of even, if it's even worded now that I've said it, well, it's spoken. <laughs> then right. Things just keep flashing back in my head. It, and you're well, like, oh, yeah. damn, I've got to this a lot here. <laughs> uh, yeah, you could probably just, yeah, that, that, the thing about the name being called out, I just knew it, knew it, knew knew it wasn't anyone in the house. It was, it was someone dear to me that, you know, uh, I think was looking out for me. Well, it's just good that at least you're out of there and you don't have to deal with that anymore. No, no. It, were, but in a way, do you know what? I, I, you know, I, I, it's like that kind of thing where, I, do I miss it? No, I'm not going to say that. No, no, I'm not going to go there. <laughs> I'm not going to say that though. Uh, but the thing is that kind of thing where you know it's happening and you think I can get validation and stuff like that, you mm-hmm. know, uh, somehow, some way, when it, when it raises up the head again. Uh, but no, 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 I don't actually know why, why no, I said that. No, 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 we'll leave that, we'll leave that there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, Gareth, you take care out there and uh, I do hope you keep in touch with me. Ah, we'll do indeed, Shannon. No problem at all. You'll probably, you'll probably see messages on Facebook or something like that, or you know. But, yeah, uh, please do. I would like that. And definitely, definitely. When you're over, you know, at the pub, uh, at the pub for the warm know, beer, lukewarm beer, ale, ale or lager or a uh, uh, big pint of Guinness. <laughs> That's right. There we go. The pint of Guinness. That's what we must yeah. have, right? Yeah, that sounds no, good. Yeah, yeah, but we 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 have so many different kind of uh, cool. What they called the uh, micro breweries and stuff like that. Oh now that God, yeah, the, that's here so too. That's choice. here too. Yeah, I'm more of a whiskey gal, but I'll have a beer with you. That's no problem. Yeah, well, well, you know, you get you get whiskey from beer eventually. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah, so. that's so right. Like... <laughs> All right. Okay. Sure. Thank you, you so day. much. You too. Enjoy your evening. I will do indeed. All right. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye. Well, I'm so and so. I was given this name by my parents. I've been to such and such a college. I've done these things in my profession. I produce a little bar. The Buddha says, forget it. That's not true. That's some story. That's all gone. That's all past. I want to see the real you you are now. Well, nobody knows who that is. Because we don't uh, know ourselves except through listening to our echoes consulting our memories. But then there's a real evil, and that again leads us back to this question. Uh, who are you? That is the real evil. We shall see how they play with this exam. By the cohorts to get you to come out of your shell and find out who you really are.
don't believe literally in reincarnation, that after your funeral, you know, you will suddenly become somebody different, living somewhere else. They will say reincarnation means this, that if you sitting here now are really convinced that you're the same person who walked in at the door half an hour ago, you're being reincarnated. If you are liberated, you are always now that you're not. The past doesn't exist. Zen master Dogen put it this way, he said, spring does not become summer. First there is summer, and then there is spring. Kind of recitation of it is great, 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 great. 